So before you left for lunch, we were discussing how to transpose a matrix. I should mention a couple of things before you get started. First, you'll notice that your math teacher in college will almost always refer to the matrix using the capital letter A, because that's tradition. We don't use capital letters to represent variables in Java, so we'll just use the small a to represent our matrices. And the way that mathematicians write uh, the transpose of a matrix is like this. The, this here, this T here is not meant to represent a power, but instead meant, is meant to represent a, a, a matrix being transposed. So it's just a different kind of notation that uses the same superscripting that you've seen traditionally for, for powers. So if we have this two-dimensional matrix right here, we want to turn the rows into columns and the columns into rows. So if we were to transpose this matrix, which is a two by five matrix, we would end up with this matrix right here, which is a five by two matrix. And we just want to know what code can we use to do this. So we're going to write a method to do it. You don't have to worry about empty uh, arrays. Just assume that there's going to be something in there and just turn the rows into columns. In the quiz that you took earlier today, the dimensions of the answer array and the dimensions of the original array were the same. As you can see, that's not going to be the case here. So you need to first figure out how are you going to dimension this answer array over here, and then you can work on how to adjust the rows and the columns to fill in the data. Before I show you the answer for how to transpose a matrix, I should tell you that matrix manipulation is so important. I think I mentioned to you there's going to be an entire one semester course on it in college when you get there for any kind of STEM career called linear algebra. Back in the 1970s, the IBM Corporation built an entire programming language built around manipulating matrices. Does anybody know what that's called? Programming language is called APL. Does anybody know what APL stands for? It stands for A programming language. So let's have a look at some APL code. Here's some APL code. Here's some more APL code. It, you can write some really weird stuff in APL. I'm mentioning this to you because usually once you learn Java, you can look at any other programming language and get a rough idea of what's going on. That is not the case for APL. APL uses a completely different keyboard set. It has all these weird symbols. Like over here, you can see it's got up arrows and this uh, row symbol and arrows to the right. Anyway. This is a very cool language. I took a course once in college called Survey of Programming Languages where they taught you five unusual programming languages. And this is one of the ones that they taught for a very brief time. This and Lisp are two of the funkiest programming languages that I've come across in my career. Anyway, we're back to Java now. I mentioned to you that your math teacher is probably going to refer to the matrix with a capital A and the transpose as a transpose like that with the uh, the power symbol for the T. Uh, we're going to use some different nomenclature here, more consistent with Java. Uh, we're going to use A as our matrix, and we're going to use A, T as the transpose of the matrix. And we're given this A here, and the first thing I need to know is, how are we going to dimension the transpose? Are the dimensions for the transpose going to be the same as the dimensions for A, or will they be different? Mr. Sawyer, what do you think, sir? Okay, so I think we can all agree that the transpose of the matrix will have the opposite dimensions of whatever the original had. So we're going to take the column length and make that the row length, and make, take the row length and make that the column length of the transpose. We have here a... Uh, nested loop that's been set up to load a transpose, and I'm going to put in here a t, and I'm going to ask what should the per question marks be replaced with here. You could have also done this slightly differently by putting rows and columns for the original a matrix here. That would also work if you did this correctly, but did anybody here do it this way? No? Okay, let's just see if you can work this out. How are we going to load a a transpose this should be a capital t here a transpose how are we going to load that from the a matrix here um, i think you can agree that this is just going to be regular row and column since we're using the row length and the column length for a transpose here should i just put r and c here okay so we need to do it this way oops c and r here uh let's uh let's run this 
So we have uh, we have the original A, which is this matrix. Then we're going to transpose it, and then we're going to print the answer. So let's see if we did it correctly. So here was the original matrix, and here is the transpose of it. So it looks like we have it working. I'm going to leave this up here for just a minute so you can discuss it with your colleague, and then we will move on to something else. I think yeah. if you put regular A here, this would still be RC, and this would probably be CR over here. So let me just show you that. So if you go A here, so most of you probably read it, wrote it like this. And if that's the case, then you just go here and you go like that. Did you solve it that way? That also, I think, works. Let's try this out. And that also works. Okay, so I'll show you that solution as well. 